Welcome to Together in Style. Today in my kitchen, I'm gonna share with you a fantastic recipe for this fall. I'm gonna share with you a recipe on how to create apple fritters. This time of year, there are fairs everywhere, and apples are about at the end of the season where there are tons of places where you can pick them, or maybe like me, you might have an apple tree of your own. So I'm gonna share with you all the ingredients which you should normally have in your pantry because it's just sugar and flour, some milk, some orange juice, we have some spices, um, some vanilla, and a little bit of baking powder and an egg. So we're gonna combine all of these things together, make our great batter, and then I'm going to show you how to fry them up in coconut oil. Well, first things first, I've separated all of my ingredients so I don't forget a single thing, but an apple fritter is not an apple fritter without some apples. So we now need to cut up the apples into small pieces and just create about two cups of them. So I'm gonna just use my Pyrex measuring glass here and cut everything up and we will have that to make the rest of our batter. So onto making the fritter dough. I'm just gonna take all of my dry ingredients and I'm gonna put them in the mixer bowl. I'm gonna just take that off to make it easier. I have here two cups of flour. I'm just gonna put that in there. And I also have a third of a cup of just granulated sugar. Put that in there. And then for some spices, I do, and also some things that we have to have in here, um, just for baking purposes, we have two teaspoons of, we have the baking powder, we have one teaspoon of uh, just ground nutmeg, and we have a half a teaspoon of salt. So I'm gonna add all of those things in here as well. And now, to add some of these wet ingredients, we have one egg, I'm gonna crack it right in there. Beautiful. And I have three tablespoons of orange juice. Just gonna add that in there. A tablespoon of pure vanilla. And one cup of milk. So I'm gonna put that in there. But I'm not gonna put the whole thing in there. I'm just gonna wait for a little bit so when I'm blending it together, if it starts to get a little puffy, I can add it. And now I'm going to just take our apples and put our apples right on top. I love these Pyrex bowls because you can see everything and you can also see the counters here. So I knew that it was two cups right when it got to its measure. So let's put this back on and start mixing things up. Great, lock that in. I held back a little of the milk. I didn't want things to be too fluffy and I also didn't want things to be too wet. Um, even though if I would say I use about a, a cup of milk, it sometimes runs just a little shy of it. So at this moment, the dough's looking really good. So let's see. Yeah, that dough's looking pretty good. I don't necessarily think I'm going to add in the rest of that milk. So I'm just gonna keep pumping that up. And just like with anything, it's always good just to kind of keep your mind's eye at what you're doing. I mean, if it looks a little too loose, add a little bit more of the flour. If it's looking a little too hard and too thick, well then add a little of the milk. Beautiful. So now that I have my batter ready, I have coconut oil on the stove right now just warming up, so I'm gonna heat up the temperature a little bit. And now we're gonna fry up these little fritters and have a treat of our own. So the coconut oil is perfect right now. I just see it smoking a little bit. So we're gonna get some of this batter together. And now these are fritters, so they're not supposed to be like in any kind of specific size or shape or anything. So I'm just gonna take two spoons and take a scoopful and then just drop it in right into the oil. I'll do that a couple of times. They look so good and all of these chunks of apples in them 
They're gonna taste delicious. Oh goodness me. Okay, this guy is done. Well, now that I've gotten the excess grease off of these, I am gonna just roll them around in our cinnamon sugar coating. But I'm placing them on a, just a cookie sheet. But I did put a cooling rack on top of the cookie sheet. Seeing we're using um, cinnamon and sugar, I didn't wanna place these on any kind of surface that they may stick. So by putting the rack on top of it, it'll be an easy, quick cleanup and nothing will stick to anything. All done, they look fantastic. What I love about this recipe is it's not only delicious, but it's quick and everybody's gonna love these. So let me just put these on the plate so I can enjoy them with my family this morning. This is perfect for like a uh, weekend breakfast or just an afternoon brunch if you're having a get together. You can have them plain as you see here or you can add like a caramel sauce to them but I am definitely gonna be extraordinarily pleased when I get to enjoy these with my cup of coffee. So enjoy the fall, enjoy this weather, enjoy all these great treats together in style.